seems we live our third inside a dream. Want to tell you what's inside my head. Ah, oh, my people. I mean, what is there to say, right? We're going to keep this concise here. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of Chris Rock. I mean, we as as black actors and black comedians in, in society here, you know, African-Americans, however you want to phrase it, we got to stay together. And that was just an act of, <laughs> of barbaric separation and just a uh, alpha male type posturing to the to the infinite degree and will smith made himself out to be the loser in this situation and i'm going to tell you why he's the loser here and chris rock is the ultimate winner see well let's just let's just play this clip right here <laughs> Well, Chris Rock just got the shit smacked out of him by Will Smith, <laughs> as we can all see. Now, this is not a laughing matter at all, okay? This is very serious. This shows the toxic undertones of Hollywood, okay? Now, look at this clip. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> now, this is a man who just goes around slapping the shit out of people. Okay? <laughs> now, I mean, let's be honest here. He's under a lot of pressure. He's in Hollywood. He's somebody who's constantly under the light of the, of the camera. And the people see him as a role model here. And the role that he obviously likes to play is a person who slaps the fuck out of anybody he wants to now let's let's say that there's nothing wrong with that okay in hollywood you can do whatever you want but that's not the case here because you know what's going to happen will smith's reputation is going <whistles> it's going to take a nose dive okay <laughs> And Chris Rock, he he's he couldn't have handled it any better here. You know, I just I just want to play this for you right over here because I I, I think you should see it. Watch. <laughs> Finish him. This is madness. Oh wow! There you have it, my brothers and sisters. In plain daylight, this man just smacked the hell out of Chris Rock. Now, Chris Rock is a winner here for a couple of reasons. Chris Rock's ticket sales have gone through the roof. He has shown himself to be a gentleman and a scholar. And Will Smith is obviously the loser because he couldn't take a joke. I mean, if somebody made a joke about my bird and I was Will Smith, I was like, Listen, I am a multi-millionaire. <laughs> like, several times over, I live in a mansion. I have two beautiful kids. I do whatever the fuck I want. And I'm sitting here at the Oscars. And you can't take a joke? I mean, what's, what's going on in his head? where somebody has that much, but it's still so fragile. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but really, really though, we should, we should, yeah, our hearts go out to him, whatever. Listen, the man, the man has everything, okay? He, he doesn't need our pity. He doesn't need our pity. He takes, he takes people's money by the boatloads by putting out all these trendy Hollywood movies. Really, he gets no sympathy from me. I, I hope the best for him. I hope that he finds happiness and peace 
for everyone else's sake so he doesn't continually smack the shit out of people. But, I mean, eh. Chickens come home to roost and they definitely came home to roost. So, listen, like this video, subscribe, and share it with all your friends because, you know, we all have a jolly good laugh and we have a good time here. Tell me what you think of this situation. Did Chris Rock deserve it? I mean, hey, there might be some people with that opinion there and that there's something to be said for that. Maybe he shouldn't have spoken a word about Will Smith's wife and her alopecia, bald head. I mean, when it comes down to it, yeah, you have all the millions in the world, but million dollars can't buy you a beautiful head of hair. Can it? <laughs> no, it can't. All right, so till next time, peace out. Wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs>